Hey guys, we watched Volgora's beer reviews once again, and this time I'm taking a re-review, uh, another look at Henny Weinhardt's Blue Boar. I reviewed this before, I've had it a couple times, but I don't know how many times I reviewed it. I'm sure I've reviewed it at least once, but that's only once, and I review some at least twice, I don't know, whatever. Sorry to get this bottle popping with a big um, right. Ooh, it's smell that. That has a funny smell. I don't smell much. You don't smell anything? Not much. Not really. I thought it smelled kinda like uh I don't know. Almost like pee for a slight, for a faint, just a faint bit. But it's just an interesting hot flavor, smell. Anyway. Oh, wait, I'm gonna hold on the bottle really quick. Anyway, hard is Blue Boar. Um, this is brewed in. I heard you the Blue Boar. No, I decided not to. Balanced flavor with hints of citrus and malty sweetness. Um, Milwaukee, Blitz, Weinhard, Milwaukee, USA, I'm pretty sure it's brewed in Oregon, Portland, here, kind of looks like, uh, apple juice, and I'll have much say in this, this isn't alright, and it's, it's pretty calm, I, I think it's a little better than Corona, but it's, it's also cheaper in most cases. Yeah, it's, it's always cheaper. In fact, at Walmart, this is probably $7 a six-pack. Then again, Corona is usually $7 a six-pack at Walmart, too, but most places, this is cheaper than Corona. It is kind of a flat beer, though. This is a beer that's... Better drink out of the bottle than it is a glass, because once you pour it out of the glass, then it loses carbonation. 4.6 ABV. Beer I've got is a 68. Um, I'm giving 85. I liked it a lot more. I had tried it before, and I ha didn't have, haven't tried that many beers yet. I'm trying it again now. I mean, it's it's a decent beer. Is it great? Amazing? Nah, I guess not, but, you know, if you just want a good, simple beer that you know it's, it's good enough to, it should be enough to please everybody, it's not too pale or, 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 uh, hoppy, bitter, it's not too, you know, too much of whatever, it might be a little bland to, to somebody, but, it's just a basic decent beer. I mean, I do admit there is a whole lot of carbonation going on in here. But, um, there's a little bit of bitterness. It's not really bitter, but it's a better, bitter quality than I guess I would get out of a, a bush or something. It's completely different than a, a bush or a Heineken or any other beer. It just has its own, its own flavor. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is brewed in Oregon, so it's right there. Oh, this says it's a cream ale. Uh, so, Tax Tacusan, Tax Usan 1000 says, in terms of cheap ales, this one's not half bad. Maybe it tastes better since I'm drinking it at work. On my last day there, snitched from the company fridge. Sweet smell of grass, even with a touch of bitterness in the hops. It looks okay, a hard to tell since it's being drunk straight out of the bottle. Tastes is pleasurably better than expected, but that's not saying much since my expectations were low. Grassy light, sweet, malt, maybe saying I can taste some jasmine is doing it more justice than it deserves. It pairs well with the homemade spicy Thai pork curry I bought, brought for lunch, light mouth, mouthfeel. I gave it 2.5 out of 5. The average review is 2.84. I'd say it's probably uh, it's probably about a six. I mean, you can definitely do worse. You could definitely do better, but 
in terms of, like, if you don't want just a Budweiser or Bush, Miller, Modelo, Corona, you don't want something corporate, co co corporate, corporate. You don't want something corporate. I'm not signing right. Corporate. Yeah, big company. Corporate. You don't want a big corporate beer. This is a good choice. It's clean, light, refreshing, and the only negative I can really say about it is if you want something that's full of carbonation, this isn't really it because it's very light. It's almost like wine. It's like a beer wine. I mean, in the terms of a wine being not very carbonated. A lot of 2.5s. I mean, if you like a sweet beer, this is a good sweet beer. Uh, 2.9 of 5, clear yellow colored beer, small, sweet, and rich, mild floral, noble with a hop aroma. Starts out mildly sweet, cracker malt, and mild hot bitterness. It's a little bland, mouth feels okay. Just an average beer, not something I would seek out, but I wouldn't refuse a free one. This is just, to me, it's a good standby. It's, you just want to go back to the basics and have a, a light, a nice, refreshing beer that that's not just an adjunct lager. Is a good choice. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.